Hi, you're with Chandeep and Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about that. How do you find duplicate values in your dimension tables? Now, this happens a lot when you're creating a relationship between the fact table and the dimension table. That relationship is one to many. The relationship sometimes doesn't work because your dimension tables sometimes have duplicate rows. In this video, I'm going to talk about three interesting ways of finding those duplicate values very quickly. Let's start. All right, I'm in Power BI and that's where I have two ridiculously simple tables loaded, the sales table and the products table. And if I have to connect these two tables, I'm going to do that using a product ID in both the tables. In the sales table, that is called product ID. In the products table, that is called product code. Let me just build that one to many relationship. So I take that, link it right here. And this actually gives me a, like a notification or an error that I cannot create a one to many relationship. Why? Because I did find duplicate values in the products table in the product code column that you're trying to link. Now, in a one to many relationship, you cannot have a duplicate value in the column that you're trying to link between the two tables. Now, obviously, you would want to find that which rows are duplicated in that product table or which product code is duplicated. Let's just go take a look at the first example in which we will create a column to find the duplicate values. All right, I'm here in my products table and let me just quickly create a column. So I'm just going to right click and then say a new column. And let's just start to write some DAX to be able to create this particular column. Now, the logic that I'm going to use is something very, very similar to a count if function in Excel. What am I trying to do? Since this is the column that I would want it to be unique, I will see that please take a look at every single value and count the number of times you find it in this particular column. And if the count is more than one, that means that value is duplicated. How do you write such a count if? Let's just do that. So I'm just going to maybe call that column as a check. And let's just write a very simple filter function. And I'm going to say that, hey, I'd like to filter the entire products table. And my condition to filter is that this product code or in this entire column, this product code, find out how many times does it appear. So I'm just going to say that, take a look at the product code, which is right here, should be equal to the current row product code. Right, close that, close that, press enter. Now, as soon as I commit to this particular formula, this formula actually gives me a table. If it finds the product once, it is going to give me a one row table. Now, obviously, you cannot really store the full table in a single cell. Now, we'd have to wrap the function around in the count rows function to aggregate the table to a single value. So I'm just going to wrap this around in the count rows function and say that, hey, just count the number of rows of the table that I'm producing. I don't really need the entire table. If I now commit to the formula, you can see that I do get two at a couple of places right here, right here, right here, and right here. That means these rows are duplicated. I can easily apply uh, like a filter in this particular column and say that whatever is not equal to one, just give me that. As of now, that value is two, and all of these products are duplicated. If I go back to my data, clean up this particular duplicate rows, I should be able to get uh, a straight one to many relationship. Now, if you're not very familiar with the earlier function, you can also write the same column with the use of a variable. It goes something like this. At the start of this particular function, I'm just going to declare a variable and call this variable as current row or current product. And I'm just going to use that thing, product code right here, cut it and just paste it right here. That means, first of all, why don't you capture the value of the current product? And this current product should be checked in each and every row of this particular products table. So rather than actually writing the earlier function, I'm just going to go reference the current product right here. Just gives me an error because I haven't written the return. So return. And I'm just going to reference that current product right here and commit to this particular formula. The formula is still going to give me the same output. And we have just not used the earlier function instead. All right, the second technique is to do by simply creating a visual and not a column. Now, a column is fine if you have a small data and if you'd like to track all the rows of the products table, a column is just okay uh, to create. But if you have, let's say, uh, thousands and thousands of SKUs, it would not be very optimal to create a column. Rather than we can actually create a visual to give us nearly the same output to solve the problem. What do we do? We create a simple table visual. In the table visual, since I'm trying to find the duplicate products, I will actually go ahead and drag the product code column right here. I will drag it once again in my table right here and change the summarization of the product code of the second column that I have dragged. I say that the second time that I drag the product, I don't really want to not summarize it. I instead want to do a count of that. And you can see that it actually tells me that a particular product is seen how many times in the products table. Very, very easy. If you have thousands and thousands of products, obviously this table is going to be very large enough. And maybe in the starting few rows, you're not able to spot anything that is not equal to one. So what I can do is I can click on this particular table that I have created. 
go over to this filter right here and I can say on the count calculation that I have done, I'd like to go ahead and filter everything which is let's say greater than one. Greater than one is a product which is duplicated seen more than one times in the table and I can apply the filter and now I'm left with only those product codes which appear more than one time in the products table. Now, obviously you can enhance this particular visual by adding more number of columns and then trying to figure out your way and uh, give it to somebody who's managing the products table to remove those duplicates and you shall have your one to many relationship. All right, the final way that I'd like to talk about is by writing a query either in DAX Studio or in Tabular Editor. You can write the same query in both the places. It's gonna give you the same output. Let's just see how can we actually do that. I'm gonna go over the window right here and maybe create a new DAX query and start writing a query. Now remember, query is nothing but a table. Always starts with an evaluate statement. I'm gonna write the same type of logic. So I'm just gonna say that, hey, filter the products table and the condition that I would want you to go check that I would want you to go take a look at the product code column and find out that how many products are counted more than once. So I'm going to wrap this around in the calculate function and say that I would like you to count the product code column. Close that, close that, and this is already closed. I can now commit to this particular query by hitting the F5 key. This actually gives me the result. As of now, it is giving you the count of all the count uh, product code column and how many times it has been counted in this products table. Now, I don't really want to have a count of the products which are just appearing once. I'd like to have the products which actually are duplicated. So I'm just going to write a condition that this particular function is going to be run for all those rows which are definitely more than one. So greater than equal to one is what I will write as my condition. Hit the F5 once again to run the query and I'm now looking at only those particular products which are definitely more than once right here. All right, that was all about finding duplicate rows in your dimension tables to be able to create that good one-to-many relationship data model. If you have any slick and tidy ways of finding duplicate rows that you are using it, please do share it in the comments and I'd love to take a look at it. If you have any questions around this, please feel free to drop in a comment and I'll be glad to reply. In the end, I'd like to give a quick shout out about my DAX and my Power Query courses. In case you're starting out with Power BI and you'd like to conquer DAX and Power Query in a more structured way, solve the fundamentals first and then move on to more challenging problems, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my online courses. It's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for sticking around with me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.